Oh, people always say, what keeps you so motivated? <sighs> Their words keep me motivated. Their negativity keeps me motivated. Their limitations keep me motivated. Story time, some of my best friends, when I told them I was going to be self, they say, you clown, with your dumb asbestos, you can't pass be self. I studied all night. I studied every day. I got a tutor, and I passed be self. 110, baby. 110 after four times. I listened to their words. That's what keep me motivated. I listened to their words, their limitations. That's what keep me motivated. So once I got my 110, I said, I'm going to OCS. They say, yo, dumb asbestos, you can't even be a good E5. How you going to become an officer? Oh, I listened to their words. I became an officer. And once I became an officer, mm, they were looking. They were studying. They were admiring. But they didn't say anything. <sighs> I became an officer. I just wanted to make major, retire, and go teach some school. But I listened to their words. I listened to their limitations. I listened to them telling me that, oh, you're a Muslim chaplain. You better hope you make major. You definitely ain't going past that. Some of my other so-called friends say they hate Muslims so much, you will never make it up the ranks. I listen to their words. I listen to their limitations. I listen to their downright disbelief in me. You see, I don't like to compete. I just want to be a good person, be in the world, and go on about my life. But once you tell me that you're competing against me, <laughs> you don't know the mentality of a Division I basketball player, Division I football player, Division I baseball player. I just applied those principles to my life. I was never the best at any of those. But boy, I tell you, I came out to be the best because I outworked their asbestos. I put in the time while they were sleeping, while they was drinking, while they, while they were partying. So I just applied those principles to my life. <sighs> and as I got a text message last night from one of my old so-called buddies telling me how proud he was of me, and he knew I can do it. You always had the courage. You were always different. Well, why you told me I was the dumbest mother father in America, that I would never be nothing, and that I would never amount to nothing, you might as well stay on the enlisted side because your butt ain't going to make no rank. Hmm. But I graciously said, thank you, my dear brother. But I never forget their words. I never forget their faces. And they wake me up every morning at 0330. Hmm. Ow! Don't let that go over your head. Most people can't handle this conversation, but I will never forget them. And I will never let them out of my head. It actually motivates me. It inspires me. Their limitations on themselves will never be put on me. Don't let that go over your head.